Welcome back to the Sonic and the Black Knight playthrough, only for the Sonic Stadium. Uh, at this point, I would make a Wild Canyon reference, but it's been done to death. Mm, no, I apologise for us not updating in about a month, was it, Gareth? Pretty much a month, yeah. I'd like to say it was due to my PC dying, but no, J Disco Ponies said some very mean things to me. And I just hate the Sonic Stadium. Yeah, that's pretty much. Moving on. Yeah, <laughs> you're gonna die. <laughs> I like this movie because oh, over the course of, of, the, of the franchise, in terms of the different mediums, there's been a lot of instances of people falling into a volcano and just not being saved. This is the first time someone's actually saved from a volcano. I can only think of one instance of that happening. And what's that? Metal Sonic from the OVO. There's also um, Yellow Zalkova in X. Doesn't Knuckles throw him into a volcano? Only in the 4Kids version. In the Japanese version, he tries to save him afterwards. 4Kids is fucking hardcore! So something, um, two things that I like about this cutscene. Now, in a second, Caliburn's going to start talking about um, you are now Knight of the Wind. Mm. And if you listen to, to the music, it actually starts playing the Knight of the Wind theme. Mm -hmm. so I, I thought it was really well done. Tales of Knighthood was the uh, game soundtrack, wasn't it? Yes, yes, it was the original soundtrack, yes, just um, amazing. And Face to Faith was the vocal songs album. The vocal tracks, yeah. Mm -hmm. I own both of them, and they're just a flat out amazing. Don't you just love Sonic's gratitude in being made a sir? <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's part of the amusing. Yeah, that is uh, relevant to my interests. <laughs> now, I, I'm sorry, I didn't really care for this. Um, Merlina disappears at the start of the game and doesn't appear until like six parts later. I know, it, like, it is... They do kind of explain in the fact that because you know, obviously she's wanted and people, everyone in, in the kingdom knows her, if she was with him, you know, she would get captured, even though, you know, she does all have all the magic in the world. It's kind of explained, but in terms of a, a plot, yeah, she does, it does mm. basically go away for a good third of the game. <laughs> yeah. Well, I suppose you have Caliburn as your mentor, so she's not really needed. Yeah, so yeah, again, like, if, if she was there with you all the way, you know, it would have, I guess, turned into a bit of heroes, having three characters constantly on screen. Mm. Now, see here, here's a way to have a human female compliment a hedgehog without there being any sexual connotations whatsoever. Yeah, I think, you know, also, it, it worked well in um, Secret Rings as well, mm. with Shara. Now, if any of you are confused about that statement, I'm referring to Elise from Sonic 2006. I guess being a female character in a Sonic game isn't that easy. I have no words to express my gratitude. Uh, 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 I'm, <laughs> I'm a teenage boy. <laughs> Yeah, anyway, the medals that you receive from um, the boss fights, Percival, Gawain, and Lancelot, when you equip them, they actually play certain frames from other Sonic games. FTA, do you want to explain what they cover? Yes, the uh, the middle of um, Lancelot plays the Crush 40 version of All Hell Shadow. The middle of Gawain plays the SA1 version of um, Unknown from ME. And the middle of Percival plays Velanova from Sonic Rush. Mm, there's also the medal of Sonic, which plays what I'm made of. The thing about me is that they don't play the full songs, just the first verse repeated. I have to say, I love this cutscene and this music track. Mm-hmm. Uh, part of me just did, don't want to talk through it because I love it so much, but I like it because I, I just love the size difference between the two of them. Hmm. Now, if you actually don't want to see this with commentary, if you go to the Hellfire Playthroughs page, youtube.com forward slash Hellfire Playthroughs, we always put up our playthroughs without commentary. So, you know, sometimes you just want to watch the game on its own. Shameless plug. Indeed. Talking of shameless plugs, I think Jay at some point said uh, subscribe to this on iTunes. Cause it's yeah, good. I think we mentioned that in an earlier part, but to be honest, I can't remember and I don't care anymore. <laughs> I like the fact that Sonic goes to Caliburn and this is an old pal, although in the context of the game, he's known him, mate, I think he's known him four days at this <laughs> yeah. point. It's like, old pal. <laughs> uh, what is Tails? Chopped liver. <laughs> If you look at him, he's clearly gold. So like, why is this game called Sonic and the Black Knight for? His armor is clearly gold. Now, this boss fight, if it were a final boss, it would be overly easy. But in the context of the game, it's not. Do you hear that, IGN? This is not the final boss. Not in the slightest. So next time, finish the game first, mate. Oh, but I love this, and also just the song "Fight the Night," amazing track for a boss fight. Oh, yeah, this is the first appearance of the vocal version, isn't it? Yep. Now, what's your what's your best time for this, Tom? I'd say about a minute. I I don't like to brag, but my best time for this is 36 seconds with five stars. 
Yeah, boy, you ain't got that, have you? Have you? <laughs> Top 64. <sighs> I hate you sometimes. <laughs> no, the lasers, they're not really that hard. I just stay at the side and spam the homing attack, really. Although, again, I think I think both of us did stay at the studio. Like, they, these bosses, they're easy. You know, you know, nobody can't admit they're not easy, but they're fun. Mm. They are fun to play, you know. And if I had to choose between a game that's kind of, you know, really easy, but fun, or a game that's hard but not really that fun, I, I, I'd go for short and easy, to be honest. Mm, I must say the third slash of the second round is actually where you have to slash straight away. It kind of tricks you there. Yeah, I like that. It's a, it's a trick one. <laughs> mm, that's what most people complain about from what I've read on forums and the like. Although, to be fair, like, it, it's keeping it interesting. If, if, if you could, if you could, you know, um, predict which each one was going to be, wouldn't really be challenging, would it? I like the fact that it, it kind of does throw you a curveball. Mm, now, this is where the first set of credits would roll and it would play Night of the Wind, but I've kind of omitted those to kind of keep the story rolling. Yeah, yeah I think the first credits plays Night, Night of the Wind and then Theme of Melina, which is the solo piano piece. Mm -hmm. like, oh, I like I like this cutscene just because it's, it's, to me, it is because we're, we're about to see it in 10 seconds, in about 20 seconds, is Sonic actually kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty badass, if I have to admit. With a sharp instrument, no less. I think he just slices him in half, essentially. <laughs> I, I, I love this uh, music track by Richard Jocks here. Mm -hmm. What's the name of it? Um, Glory of Victory. Mm. Slash! Look at that! This is badass! That's pretty glorious, I gotta admit. He's, he's been slashing off, but he still has time to go- No! Stuff. You don't say. Do you think? Do you think in the Chinese version, instead of going no, he goes do not want. <laughs> so yeah, essentially, dead. There would have been credits, but never quite. I love it that the camera goes out and comes straight back down again. That's pretty funny. <laughs> hmm. Now, just me. How the hell did his sword ever fit in that scabbard? That's not Excalibur. That's why. No, but I mean, just the sword he had. It was I massive. It could never fit in that scabbard. I actually think he put it on his belt. It wasn't actually in the scabbard at all. Oh, gotcha. See, this is the big plot twist, and I, I actually really, really like this plot twist. Mm. I didn't see it coming. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I had it spoiled for me. Ah, uh, why? I was actually trying to find uh, the remix of It Doesn't Matter, and I accidentally came across the name of the final boss. Damn. Mm-hmm. So since he, at, at this point, the, the the king was just a complete illusion, and now as we're about to see, shit's gonna go down. Mhm. Mm it's kind of weird to see the knights of the round table without any weapons. <laughs> they will be. Okay, so at this point, what are they attempting to do to Melina? They have no weapons, and she's a wizard. They're gonna give them a stern talking to her, and then maybe whack their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, this is a great piece of me. This is called Melina, her wicked smile. <laughs> what the hell? It has the power to make your hair grow? Exactly, it's awesome. It's, it's better than L'Oreal. Mm. Because I'm worth it and I'm going <laughs> to take over the world. <laughs> <laughs> I always like that look that she gives out. I think that's pretty cool. What we're about to see is the second of the three um, CGI cutscenes. Mm. I'm a bit miffed they didn't use one for the ending, to be honest. Mm. This 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 is, is a piece of music simply called the end of the world. <laughs> well, it's a lot better than the end of the world in Sonic 06. Let me put it that way. I like I, I don't know why, but I, I like the fact the fact that Percival stays to, to look at it. Mm -hmm. I don't know why it's all shiny. <laughs> and now we're coming up to possibly in my opinion one of the coolest things ever committed to anything in the world. <laughs> this just fucking rocks. <laughs> This is, is a piece of music called uh, Escape from from the Destruction by John Shinoi. Mm hmm And it just rules. What do you think, Tom? I think we're actually going to have an escape scene on our hands coming up in a couple of seconds, Gareth. And that's just badass. <laughs> 